Hello, Scorpios. I know it's been a while, but I'm here now. I have been dealing with my own life issues, but I will try to be more consistent with you guys in uploading readings uh, on a semi-schedule. <laughs> Can't promise anything because I am human. And I have this Aries energy. And if any of you know about the Aries energy, we are great at starting things, but it's like a struggle to continue um, to complete things. And that does not escape me, okay? <laughs> I do have a Capricorn moon, but um, I am Aries through and through. Okay, guys? So this reading is for March. see okay look at that two of swords right there that's that libra energy some of you may be cuspers or you're dealing with a libra um that indecisiveness but i do i did see something that made me feel like there's something that you guys have decided upon but it's like you you need a plan to make it happen so not trying to just dive into things head first is what i'm feeling <clears throat> What is going on around my Scorpios? Six of Pentacles. Somebody you want to spend some time with. Taurus energy. That's a fixed energy, like yourself. But um, definitely wanting to spend time with someone. Um, wanting to uh, have that reciprocity in a relationship. That give and take energy. What's crossing my Scorpios? Death. That is your card. Huh. You know, the Two of Swords, when it flipped over, it, now things are kind of becoming clear for me. Okay. For some of you, there's more than one person in your life that you're trying to make a decision about. And you're actually trying to balance your time or you're trying to decide um, to do the right thing towards someone there's something that you are needing to for, for things to um, progress and progress the right way in a positive manner then there is something that you do need to change because I think you, you see happiness with someone but you've gotten caught up in something else is what I'm feeling here and there's a need to like um, let that go to end that to change uh, how you've been doing things to transform because what I'm getting is that for a lot of you and maybe not for a lot of you for some of you there's a situation where you feel like you're doing your best or you you give it your all but deep down inside you know that that's not really the case you know that somebody is getting more and you can't give somebody that you really care about your all if your time is divided and i'm feeling like that's that's the case for some of you <clears throat> what's the underlying issue here for scorpios Queen of Wands. I feel like there's a temptress. Somebody's somebody. There's a temptress in your reading. Um, and, and I don't know if they're trying to be that way, but their presence is here, though. This is Aries, Leo, maybe Sagittarius too. But there's somebody here that is in the way and this situation may be reversed where somebody is doing this to you needing to let the other party go if this is the case you guys already know this or you you have an inkling about this okay it's not something that's new to you with hearing me say it if this is the case and it's the other party Okay, but there's definitely somebody here that is um, in the way. 
of your happiness. Then a six of swords flips over. Uh, Aquarius energy. Being able to talk through things and move on. That's another six. Which is an even number. It's about unity. Solidarity. Togetherness. Working through things. What's going on in the recent past for Scorpios? Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. Investing. Hang on, guys. I thought I heard my door. Yeah, waiting and investing. That's another Taurus card. I think Taurus is your opposite sign. Could definitely be a Taurus, Aries individual that's significant here in your reading. I feel like you invested a lot into a situation. And you're not willing to give up at this point. I see you definitely wanting... Um, someone to to show you that they want you that they want to spend time with you hmm. but there's some there's something here you guys are going through a major shift right now you're going through a major shift right now major transformation and you may feel a little bit off Any thoughts for Scorpio? Ooh, yeah, the tower. There's a major shift. Major. With the tower and death, there is definitely an ending here. There's definitely something that has like rocked your world. Um, something you, you feel like devastation behind here. I feel like you're angry. And I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing, oh, they're going to pay for this shit. What's coming in for Scorpios? Oh, Three of Swords. Hmm. Got heartache. Disappointment. You guys definitely want to have a discussion with someone. Um, that's Libra energy there. There's heartache here. Because I'm thinking that some of you have just found out something that you did not. You know, sometimes we don't want to know things because it hurts. Shit. You know, but there's something I feel like some of you guys have just found out. And it's something that you, deep down inside, you felt it. You felt it because Scorpios are very intuitive. But something's coming to light. Something you just heard, some news, something somebody brought to you, something you saw, um, messages or something like that. Something's <coughs> excuse me, something's come to light. <clears throat> <clears throat> How is Scorpio viewing this situation currently? You're stuck. Cards just flipping over for y'all. That's the hanged man. You feel like it's stuck. There's nothing you can do. You feel like a sacrificial lamb. You feel like you've been fucked. You feel like this person has deceived you. Um, they've done you wrong. You feel like that. You feel rejected. You feel hurt. You feel like this person did not keep their promise to be there for you. To love you. To care for you. They rejected you. They hurt you. It's how you're feeling right now. Taurus is very strong here. Could be another Scorpio. Aquarius. Aries. Leo. What is the influence here for Scorpio? The devil. 
addictions could definitely be um, a sexual addiction, sexual attraction. Um, yeah, Capricorn energy. Huh. I think somebody is a philanderer. Has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's just the way that they are. And I think this this is the type of person that for some reason they hurt people before they can get hurt. For some of you. Whether it's by um, not being monogamous or whether it's like um, getting angry, shutting you down, making you feel uh, unvalidated, you know, just that type of energy. There is a lot of codependency here, too, because it's sometimes the more somebody is mean, the more you, you want to do good and try to figure out, well, why are you being mean? Why are you doing this? You know, you try to be your best you. But they're steady, like doing things to you, you know. So, a lot of that going on in your situation. Not good. Okay. What is the influence here for Scorpio? Page of Swords. Hmm. I said the influence, didn't I? But this is um, hopes or fears. Hmm. You know, I'm feeling like this person has really affected your self-esteem. Because I, I, I feel like you just want to be noticed. You want to be acknowledged. And you almost feel small with them. You don't want to feel small anymore. You want to be able to stand your ground and be the person who you know you really and truly are. Hmm. What is the overall outcome here for Scorpio? Ace of Pentacles. There's a new start here for you. There's a new start here. I think as soon as you, because you have realized that something's not working for you. And I think this person was really kind of holding you back from what it was that you truly deserve. And now that you, and I know it hurts right now. It hurts right now, and I know this. But sometimes things happen, and they may not feel good while it's happening. But they're happening for the greater good. This tower energy is always happening for the greater good. It doesn't feel good when it's happening, but it's tearing down some shit, removing some shit that shouldn't have been in the first damn place. Is that that's what it is, okay? So, but there is definitely a new start on the table. Um, there's some transformation that is going on, like I spoke before, and you guys are gonna have to ride the this wave, okay? Go with it. Feel what you feel. Okay, guys. Let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. So is that your reading? Please give me a message for my Scorpios. Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.